Finally, from obstacle limitation surfaces of ICAO NX14, moving on to the last surface that is takeoff climb surface, which is defined as an inclined plane or other specified surface beyond the end of a runway or clearway. It has a slope of 2% and once it is added into the OLS diagram for one runway, the overall OLS diagram would somehow look like this. You can see the bluish triangle. Zooming in for further details, the inner width of takeoff climb surface would be 180 meters and it would extend for 15,000 meters, there, that is till the end of obstacle limitation surfaces. And while extending, it would be having a divergence of 12.5% on both sides, while the final length would be 1800 meters. Uh, this is very important to highlight that 1800 meter would only be applicable when the intended track includes changes of heading greater than 15 degree for operations conducted in IM conditions. However, if there is no track having heading greater than 15 degree, then the final width could be adjusted at 1200 meters for takeoff climb surface. Now you can also see that the takeoff climb surface is almost overlapping with the approach surface. Here comes a question that what criteria should be used? As I have told you earlier that the slope for takeoff climb surface is 2%, then moving on to the profile view to understand it better. Since the takeoff climb surface has a slope of 2% till 15,000 meters and approach surface was having three different planes if you remember, the first plane was having slope of 2% just like takeoff climb, then the second plane was having slope of 2.5% and then the third plane was with zero slope. So in order to design or construct the buildings or any fixed objects, the more stringent surface would be used. We can say in the first plane of approach surface, either you can take takeoff climb surface or approach surface as a re reference. For the second path of approach surface or second plane of approach surface, you'll have to comply with the takeoff climb surface because it is more stringent in terms of slope. For third plane, you can again move towards the approach surface since it was having zero slope. Thank you very much and stay tuned. We will be coming up with some new topics very soon.